PW breaks Nigerian Twitter Spaces record with 300,000 participants on 90 Minutes with P2B. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. Labour Party presidential candidate P2B has broken another record with his first ever Twitter Spaces hangout. Hashtag 90 Minutes with B2B held on Tuesday, November 22nd, 2022, which has recorded over 300,000 listeners 24 hours after the event. This evening, I will be on Twitter spaces to discuss political, topical political issues and other issues germane to nation building and national interest. Do join us, B2B, he posted on his Twitter handle. The event recorded 330 listeners at 12 noon Friday, November 25th, 2022, the time of this publication. The online event, which was hosted by Orias and Franklin, a communications specialist and Nigerian publisher, was billed to hold between 7, 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. However, the Labour Party candidate was able to get online about 30 minutes into the event. However, the event experienced technical difficulties attributed to Twitter and Nigerians called on Elon Musk, the new owner of the platform, to intervene. Based on the yearnings of Nigeria to interact with Mr. Obi, he extended the spaces till 9.30 p.m. Oraye, shortly after the spaces, said, With all the issues associated with the Twitter platform yesterday, people of God, 90 minutes with P2B was a record breaker for a Nigerian Twitter space and the number is still growing. It has never been done before. It is grace. It is P2B. It is a new Nigeria. No more, no less. Oraya posted on his Twitter handle, Thank you for being a part of the conversation. They also tuned in to listen. We will not stop moving from... We will not stop showing them the way we move. Obi, who has emerged as a surprise frontrunner in the race for the Nigerian presidency, spoke on diverse issues during the Twitter event, which was monitored by the trend. He promised to solve the country. He promised to solve the security challenges in the country, regig the economy, education, healthcare, and other matters of national importance. The space was co-hosted by David Hondei, Samantha Pam Dusu, and Ibrahim Abdul Karim. The presidential candidate of the ruling really All Progressives Congress (APC) also attended the Twitter Spaces event, dubbed "Hope of Nigeria" by his supporters. Mr. Peter is leading the race for president in the latest poll conducted in rural communities in Nigeria, published by next year on November 18, 2022. Mr. B comes on top with 40.37%. 40.37%. His closest rivals are Tiko Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and Bola Tsenembu of the All Progressives Congress, APC, poll at a distant 26.7% and 20.47% respectively. The latest poll is a fifth major national poll which puts Obi as a clear front runner in the February 2023 election, which promises to be a watershed moment in Nigeria's history. If the candidate of the Labour Party, a previously fringe party, wins the presidential election, it will mark many firsts in Nigeria's political history. Dr. Gonea made a post on her Twitter handle and it reads thus, PWB extended the duration for the meeting, stayed with us, analyzing critical issues as they were. Who would not adore such a soft-spoken, deliberate, passionate, and visionary leader? Who? Hashtag 90 minutes with P2B. Another opinion. Another opinion. Now, presidential candidates will engage ordinary Nigerians. We go vote. Hashtag 90 minutes with P2B. Another commented, see who came to her speech, invite him to speak now. Ah, but oh, no, 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 that is too brutal. Another commented, everyone that went to the University of Nigeria in Suka, you and a new me during my time. I owned a supermarket at the university, built my own house there and owned two cars. I was a businessman, but I was also a diligent student. P2B, hashtag 90 minutes with P2B. Another commented, did you just hear that? P2B said, my dear, I am looking for a job, and you Nigerians are the owners of this company. Hence, I have to come for the interview. At the end of the day, you choose the best. Hashtag, 90 minutes with P2B. Another commented, for about just four months, you have been able to shake up the establishment. Now, maybe that strategy topic for now. 
P-D-A-P-C. P2B, this is so true. Hashtag 90 minutes with P2B. Another commented. P2B, the first president in the world to hold Twitter space with citizens. Another opined. Millions of people in the North have learned the Quran, and if you can learn the Quran, you can learn a skill. I'll meet them at the point where they learn the Quran. P2B, 90 minutes with P2B. Another commented. I think the host and co-host should stick to the 30 minutes extra Mr. P2B allowed. They should not extend it as we know Mr. P Mr. B would not complain, but we should let him go. He has a rally tomorrow and we know it will be a long day for him. He needs to leave. 90 minutes with P2B. Even P2B is facing network problems. I am voting for a man that understands the challenges I am facing. Hashtag 90 minutes with P2B. Another pinged. There must be some people who do not like me. If everyone likes me, I will stop campaigning because I will know something is wrong. Hashtag P2B. Now, this goes a very long way to see what I've been saying is correct. In fact, I said it in my news today. You see, I've said it before. If you're doing something, if you are going, whether you're pursuing a goal you want to achieve, whether you're pushing a career you want to achieve and you are not being fought, people are not telling you, people are not talking down as in you don't have any problem. I tell you, you are on the wrong path. It is when you are going, when you are the right path that you see people tell you, oh, this one happened. I use the example of the greatest inventors of our time, those that invented our television, those that invented the electricity bulb, those that invented our radio, those that invented our aircraft, the plane. These people, when they were doing it, people see them as crazy. I'm not sure people are fine. In fact, a lot of people saw them as people who were definitely crazy. So if everybody likes you, even jollof rice is gone, it's not everybody that likes jollof rice. You understand? If everybody likes you, it certainly means you are not doing something well. Now, there's a particular, um, particular person that commented that I am holding that particular comment he said, which... Now that one nine touch me, nine totori me pass. That particular person said he is going to be voting someone who understands the challenges because he said the death of challenges also affects him P2B. So obviously he's going to be voting for someone who understands the challenges of Nigerians, who knows what we're going for. And that is what we want. Somebody who understands us, who can relate when we complain. He's not going to just see us as noisemakers. During this administration of the All Progressive Congress with the President Muhammad Buhari being the president, we have made a lot of complaints and they call out to us most especially presidential aides. I'm going to call them by their name. Most especially Femi Additional. Femi Additional and Garabashiro. Both of them comes out and tell in fact, for every time Nigeria complains, they come and type a script. You see them typing a script and they're going to say, oh, the president, he did this, he did that, that we are not satisfied. Instead of looking for ways to solve the problem we are raising, they always shut us out. Nigerians, the ball is in our court. To enter the free, they're not going to give us restructuring. They're not going to give us a referendum, but they're giving us an election. Come 2023 election. Do not make a mistake. It is going to be the mistake of our lives. There is no way I've said it that the person who is ruling, whether you're a Christian, you're a Muslim, you're a traditionalist, you're a Buddhist, whatever religion, or you're an atheist, the person who is the president will affect the